Women's Championship match. Becky, two belts, her first of two title defenses on this night. Now is where I am going to lose my shit. Because while I don't have a problem with the ultimate outcome, I have a problem with everything that led to it. So let me dive in here. Lacey Evans is a phenomenal prospect for Raw. Great, great to keep her and Becky engaged in a program even moving forward. I support that wholeheartedly. Becky versus Charlotte is a stupid played out feud. It shouldn't have even continued to the extent that it has. And I, and I want it to go away. It's stupid, go away. But it won't. Like Becky said in her promo, uh, Charlotte is the web that management won't let her, her being Becky, untangle herself from. They just keep them paired together because they always want Charlotte there. And there's truth to that. They refuse to put Charlotte anywhere but the title picture. And I get it. Charlotte is phenomenal. She's okay on the mic. She's phenomenal in the ring. Pound for pound, probably the best performer they've got that's no shade at becky that's no shade at bailey or sasha or you know whoever she's great ronda rousey is very good in the ring too although she still needs to work on not hurting people she still has a tendency to do that the wwe tries to gloss over a little bit but i digress so this match physical match they actually let lacey evans get a lot of offense in that was a little bit not a surprise, because I knew they wanted her to look strong even in defeat, as I batter stuff around here. I knew they wanted her to look strong even in defeat. I knew she was going to lose, but I was curious of how they were going to go about it, because obviously that says a lot about their booking going forward. So, one weird moment in the match to me, Lacey Evans, the lady of the WWE... By the way, she's built like a freaking house, like a muscle. Like she's she's basically a carbon copy of uh, Charlotte, but with more muscle. And that <laughs> that's like the two Spider Man meme, the meme of two Spider Men pointing at each other, like you, you. But uh, sh so Lacey Evans takes this cloth, this uh, handkerchief, out from her pants. She dabs her face, which it was in it was in your crotch, presumably. So why are you like? <laughs> and then she wipes her armpit. This is the greatest self own I've ever seen. She then wipes her armpit, and then proceeds. So wipes her armpit, and then proceeds to dab her mouth again. You're what are you doing? You're down here scrubbing your crotch. You're touching your face. You're scrubbing your own pit, and then you're touching your mouth again. And then uh, and after that, she grabs Becky. She tries to cram it in Becky's mouth, gets a little bit of it in Becky's mouth. Becky then hulks up because she's pissed off at this disrespect. She goes off, and the, the match just is, is a little screwy. There's a moment late in the match that's another ref botch as far as this. I think the execution was there, but I, I don't know if the ref just botched not getting into position for the count or what. And this was, again, picked up on the broadcast team. There's a moment late in the match where Lacey Evans strikes the back of Becky's knee, kind of like a dirty hit when Becky's back is turned, uh, chop block essentially, and the impression is like, okay, uh, so that's going to be the storyline lead into her match with Charlotte. That's going to then be like, oh, Charlotte's going to go after the knee now. Why Lacey Evans felt the need to go after the knee when her move isn't that? I don't know, but whatever. So that's what they're setting up for, it looks like. Eh -eh, that is not what they're setting up for. Because then you get a pinfall submission. Lacey Evans rolls up Becky Lynch. And it looks like a three. It easily a three count. Maybe a four count. I don't know if a five count maybe. But the referee's kind of like. He like runs to the other side. And then before the referee rides. The referee's starting to get down into position. Becky reverses out of it. Maybe Becky was slow on the call. Maybe Becky wasn't even supposed to be down for like a second, but kind of like forgot herself for a moment. I don't know what happened here. Becky kicks her legs, rolls over straight into the disarmor. And before Becky even cranks back on the submission, you already have Lacey Evans awkwardly like, eh, 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 like tapping out. And it's like, usually when people are tapping out in a submission, they're showing like desperation or like pain something like that they don't like awkwardly like robotically tap out you know there's urgency to it there was nothing here and this was just a weird finish to the match becky retains uh, uh 
two and a half star match. I mean, it was an okay match. It was serviceable. I think for Lacey Evans' first women's championship match, I thought it was serviceable. And, you know, she showed herself to be a credible threat to Becky. Becky just gets over, you know, excluding the ref botch. Becky just gets over with the Wiley veteran move. Cool. As Becky is heading to the back, Charlotte Flair's music hits. And Charlotte's like, "Uh uh-uh, we're going in this match right now. Right now. Here we go. And at at first I was thinking like, all right, because... I always try and think of this in a real world application here. What are they telling us? You know what I mean? Like, if this was real life, what would the explanation be here? Is it that this match was always scheduled to be back to back for Becky to go back to back two matches in a row, and therefore she should have just rem- she should have known the schedule, or is it that she was like, oh yeah, you're right, I forgot. Damn, now I got to do this again. No, no, no. The announcers tell us. Oh, no. Becky didn't have to do this. Becky was goaded into doing this by Charlotte for being, you know, her being smug. Are you fucking kidding me? That's the explanation you're going to give me? You're going to tell me that not every single match is meticulously planned? At the very least, not talking time frame. Because obviously, if this was a shoot thing, if this was real, you don't have that knowledge. But at the very least, you know the order of the card. You're telling me that Charlotte... The challenger of all people is allowed to make that power play to make that happen. Come on, son. Come on. Whatever. All right, so we got another Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair match now, back to back. Uh, Becky came out early on, you know, playing with some extra desperation. Uh, Misses a splash, Charlotte takes over, and then Becky's just on the defense for most of this match. You get a spot late in the match where Charlotte tries to hit the natural selection on the ring apron. Becky hangs on to the rope. Charlotte crashes hard to the mat, falls outside. Becky's telling the ref, go, go, count, count, count her out. Becky, meanwhile, drapes back and rests on the rope, you know, facing the stage and everything. Well, not facing the stage. Her body on the side of the rope's facing the stage. She's looking at where Charlotte is. Referee gets somewhere around like a six or seven count. And then, oh, look, here comes Lacey Evans again. And she hits her with the woman's right. Uh, which is her devastating move of doom. Uh, Charlotte swoops in, and she charges Becky. I don't know if she was going for a spear or what. Becky gets another... Becky gets a quick sudden roll-up, and we have another ref botch on a pinfall! It looks like a three count. I, I don't know if this was intended to be a two count, and they just slightly fucked it up in terms of the timing, but you get the crowd. One, two, three, and then, like... The crowd called three. The ref's hand looked like it hit for three. And then they just go, I mean, no. What? Becky gets up. Charlotte hits her with the big boot. One, two, three. Becky two belts is no more. The SmackDown Women's Championship goes to Charlotte Flair. Oh, my God. Okay. Here's the thing, right? I said I was going to get back to Mandy Rose and Asuka. From WrestleMania. Here it is. This is so fucking stupid. Like this is pathetically. Inexcusably. Stupid. Booking. You know what this tells me? This tells me that the only reason. Mandy Rose and Asuka. Lost their women's championship match. At WrestleMania. And got relegated. To the women's battle royal. Was because of time. It was a seven and a half hour fucking pay-per-view and they still cut the women's smackdown championship match in favor of nothing they wanted further justification i guess to say here's why we're gonna make now becky ronda and charlotte the main event Ooh, further justification because the raw women's championship isn't enough to have to the equation having the three people indisputably at the top of the card the top of the division Top of the industry for women's wrestling. No, no, no. It's not good enough on its own. We need to now take the belt off Asuka, put it on Charlotte to give her record-tying number eight reign, tied with your Stratus, by the way, and then shove it into a winner-take-all match at WrestleMania. Because now we need further justification. We need an extra visual where Becky's not just holding one belt, she's holding two. Okay, whatever. Fine, fine. I can forgive that if you do something with it. 
Now, I'm not saying go back to the days, the old days where you booked storylines a year or 18 months even in advance. I'm not. I'm really not. Because I understand in today's age, that just is completely impractical. The fact that they even pulled off the CM Punk 434-day title reign is incredible when you think about it. But I digress. They, they have pushed the hell out of the Becky Two Belts moniker ever since WrestleMania. They say, hey, for the first time ever, you're going to have the women's champion pulling double duty at a pay-per-view. She's going to defend the Raw Women's Championship and the SmackDown Women's Championships. She's taking on the hottest prospect in WWE right now for the division, the women's division and Lacey Evans. And the face of the division the past, what, four, five years? Something to that effect for Charlotte? I think 2013, 14, I want to say, is when they moved her up onto the main roster. Regardless... It's fine. I knew that they couldn't keep this going for like a year. But if you want to make this, if you're going to push merchandise and branding about Becky two belts, you keep the two belts on her at least for a minute, at least for a cup of coffee. This is the first time she did this defense. And I get it. You're risking, you're risking injury to her and you're risking burnout for her. I get it. But at the same time, what is the point of having the first ever undisputed women's champion in the in the history of WWE if you're going to do fuck all with it? Now, Chris Jericho's undisputed championship range was a bit of a farce by the end when they made it all about Triple H and Stephanie instead. But at the very least, he was treated as a big deal for the first stretch of it. I would have done three pay-per-views with Becky pulling double duty. I would have then, and if you don't want to do double duty, make one of those pay-per-views a triple threat, another winner-take-all match. That's all you got to do. You insist on having Charlotte in the picture? Fine. Do that. Have Lacey Evans in the picture as well. Have it be something where... Becky wins both these matches, and now the next pay-per-view, it's the same three of them, but now it's a triple threat winner-take-all match, and now suddenly the alliance between Charlotte and Lacey Evans breaks down because they're fighting over who actually gets the pin and the title. That is storytelling. That's how you still build on something. WWE likes to book the baby faces to overcome everything. They don't do that here. Becky loses her, f I, I believe it's her first defense of the SmackDown Women's Championship. Certainly first pay-per-view defense since WrestleMania. She drops it, and she drops it to Charlotte Flair. So Charlotte gets now the record-breaking ninth reign. Jesus Christ, fine. Oh, what? Charlotte's reign's over? Okay, that was worth breaking the record for. They can't even do that right. So then you get this development after the match. Where Lacey Evans and Charlotte. Becky goes right after Lacey Evans because Becky just got screwed of the title. And now because Becky is still the Raw Women's Champion and not SmackDown, she's no longer pulling double duty. She's going to be on Raw and her program with Lacey is going to continue. Fine. Great. Fresh. Good. Heat to it. I like it. Charlotte comes out and keeps beating up Becky. Why? You're done. You got your title. You're done. Walk away. No, no. She hates her so much she doesn't even want her to have the Raw Women's Championship. So she wants to beat her down and make it where Lacey will get her in the next match. Okay, whatever. If that's what you insist on. By the way, for this next match, I don't have the graphics, so I'm just going to explain it. So it was a 201 beatdown, just like the last Raw beforehand. Oh, here's the thing, too. Your promotional material for this pay per view was literally Becky sitting on a throne with both. You ran a fucking special, a behind the scenes look at the rise of the man, the woman behind the man, and her triumph of winning. The two championships. Making history. You announced it that night. As a WWE Network special. And took the belt off her. What fucking sense does that make? I'll get into that in a moment. So you get this two on one beat down ensuing. Bailey runs out. Makes the save. Becky does nothing in the fray. Charlotte goes for a spear on Becky. Hits the corner. The turnbuckle. Knocks herself out. Bailey debates her about five minutes cashing in her new briefcase and then decides, you know what? All right, I'm going to do it. Drag Charlotte to the middle of the ring, pin one, two, three. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Seriously, that's the best you can do. That is the best you can do. By the way, hey, shout out to Bailey. She is now essentially the first ever women's Grand Slam winner in WWE history. She was the NXT Women's Champion. She was the Raw Women's Champion, the SmackDown Women's Champion, and the Women's Tag Team Champion on Raw. No one else can say that. Hey, cool history for Bailey. She deserves it. Kudos to her. To me, the message that they're trying to sit in with this is a message to Sasha Banks. They still want to work it out with Sasha Banks and bring her back. We know that her and Bayley uh, were having issues after WrestleMania when they found out they were, in fact, going to be dropping the belts so quickly after winning them, even though they had been promised a long title reign. Uh, Sasha flips shit. Bayley apparently, I guess backstage stuff says that uh, Sasha's kind of a bad influence on Bayley, so Bayley threw a fit with her. But as soon as Charlotte, or not Charlotte, as soon as Sasha... Has been gone. She's been gone since Mania. Even canceled public uh, interviews and stuff uh, related to the company since then. Bailey, in less than six weeks, now won the Money in the Bank contract and the SmackDown Women's Championship. So whether they're trying to signal to Sasha, like, look, look, no, I know you're frustrated because you feel like you're not being used properly, but look, look, we're listening. Whether it's that or it's like, okay, fuck you too. She stuck around, so she gets rewarded. And you're going to have to eat that and know that you walked out. And because she had the guts to stay, she gets the reward and not you. I don't know what their message is trying to be in this case. I assume they want to keep her because with AEW being like it is, they're desperate not to lose talent to them. And they would love to have Sasha Banks in AEW. So, oh my God. Uh, Becky versus Charlotte. Two stars. Star and a half. I don't know. A, not a great match. The storytelling was there, but then the fucking ending and another goddamn ref botch. Really? Uh, so short-sighted. Again, the f the conclusion is fine. Having Bailey be the champion is fine. It honestly is. If you they they would be afraid of turning Bailey heel in this process, which I don't even think you can do. But if you had had Becky beat Charlotte. And then, while you know the beatdown starts between Lacey Evans and Charlotte on Becky, Bailey comes out, and while Becky is taunting, after they run off the heels behind her back, Bailey quietly hands the briefcase to the referee. They they ring the bell, and then right as Becky turns around, Bailey to belly pin her one two three. Have it be where like suddenly. She is baffled. Like, Becky is baffled. She's just like, there's no way. I pulled double duty. I just went through the two of the, like, it's it's fine. CM Punk was able to cash in in underhanded ways. I know he did it on a heel, but cash in with an underhanded way and stay a face. Imagine how that would do it. Like, if you take Bailey's character and you add just a little splash of gray area to her, I think she's way more compelling and interesting. And they're finally stop, they finally stop pushing her as just the, like, Oh, she's just too innocent. She just doesn't want to hurt anybody. They finally stopped pushing that, so that's good. But that would have been better, and you still would have gotten the same result. So that's me saying, even if you're going to give up on Becky two belts, at least don't do Charlotte as a fucking transition champion. Because now, to Charlotte's credit, you just wasted her record-breaking reign. It was two minutes long. It was probably a little longer than that, but it pathetic. What's the point? Why? Why? There is none. It's short-sighted. It's stupid. It's like they knew where they wanted to go, but they were too fucking lazy to take the proper steps to get there, to tell compelling, logical storytelling to get there. So the Bailey vs. Charlotte match, zero stars. Literally not a move. Bell rings, drags her in the middle of the ring, pin, one, two, three. No stars. I like the result. I like the result in terms of literally just Bailey is the, now the champion, but shit, this was a fucking waste. I mean that even for Charlotte's sake, this was a fucking waste. Who wants to have the record-breaking reign if it lasts not even long enough to enjoy a cup of coffee? I, 